All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the video is uh, How America Makes Britain Looks Like a Tiny Village. All right, let's check it out. Uh, this is coming from the channel uh, Lost in the Pond. Um, I can tell you right now, I've been to both places, from one of them, and I can tell you, uh, the UK is small. And I mean really small by comparison to, to at least what we're used to in America, in the United States of America, right? But all right, let's see what he has to say. And at 874 square miles is larger than not just London, but half of the English counties. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lawrence and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to size. They say that size doesn't matter, but have they looked at a map recently? Right. Because it does matter when you move from Britain to the United States of America. Right, I mean, it's small. Again, guys, it's small in comparison. But if we're not see, comparing it... said that the biggest difference between Britain you know, and America is that Americans think that 100 years is a long time. Generally. And the British think that 100 miles is a long way. Oh, and yeah. I definitely used to think like this. For instance, I used to think that traveling from my hometown of Grimsby to the city of Manchester was a long way, even though it was only 100 miles. But after moving to the United States, we're long... Listen, if you have to do that every single day, I completely understand why you think it's a long distance. Um, guys, I did 100 miles today. And I, and I, for the most part, just stayed in town. Long distance commutes and cross-country road... That's an exaggeration, but not really. Uh, one way was about 40-something and back another 40. And literally, I didn't do anything. <laughs> trips are not that unusual. I soon realized that Americans viewed 100 miles as no biggie. Yeah. And as somebody who now fairly frequently does the commute from Chicago to Indianapolis, I have fallen in line with my American comrades. But right. just in case you don't believe me, or in case you're one of those British people that I often hear about, that comes to the United States and expects to see New York City, Las Vegas, San Francisco, <laughs> and the Grand Canyon all the same in one day? weekend, then oh, allow me to he... present to you some maps. Yeah, some not maps happen, that highlight the scale of the United States. And it's funny because, you know, while living in um, in Spain, uh, I ran into a, a lot of British people. And a common conversation would be like, hey, oh, you're from New York. Uh, I've been to, I don't know, name a random town really far away. Okay? Um, <laughs> like, listen, that's... No, I don't know anyone that's from there. I'm sorry. I have never been to Boise, Idaho. All right. Um, I, I've never been to, to Sioux Falls. I apologize, I, guys. The United States of America is so gigantic that you would probably need multiple months to visit everywhere. Now, obviously, you know, a truck driver enters the chat here and we'll say the opposite, but if you're not, if you're there to see things state by state and experience things state by state, guys, you're, no chance. A weekend, forget it, forget it. A week, forget it also. That's just not happening. You're not experiencing anything. And every single nation state absolutely has something you should see. It's in all its glory. Let's take a look. Firstly, let's take a look at the United States as a whole. If we include land and water, which we will be doing throughout this video, the United States has a total area of about 3.8 million square miles. In that respect, it could contain 40, not just Britons, but UKs. And for clarification, the UK is Britain, plus Northern Ireland. The biggest country within the United Kingdom is my home country of- Guys, this is gonna sound crazy. Apologies. Um, I just call it the UK. I understand Great Britain, I know, right? Blame it on my Americanness, unfortunately, but I will still kind of just call it the UK. It's kind of all in the same place, all right? England, and you've almost certainly heard that the United States has an entire region named after it. Let's have a look at how they compare. As the United New England? States goes, New England is a relatively small area of land comprising six states. Yeah. Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. Guys, he had said something a little while. Guys, hold on. I'll keep stopping because there's so much to... He keeps making points here. Um, he said something a little while ago. He said something a little... Apologies, guys. He said something a little while ago regarding how Americans think that 100 years is a long time. Um, in that area there, you're going to see things on average about 400 years old. Uh, if you are only counting things that are um, like built by people of European descent, but if you want to see some really old stuff, 
go out to the desert. You're going to start running into things that are thousands of years old, mainly um, like the Hopi cat, like not castles, but like compounds uh, that, that have been built into like the sides of the mountains. Um, you run into that and be like, oh, this is really old, like UNESCO World Heritage old. Okay. Really old. So we do have some old stuff, guys. Five of those states feature in a list of the seven smallest. The New England states combined are almost 22,000 square miles bigger than England. Okay. In fact, you could throw in Wales and Northern Ireland and New England would still come out on top. But even when you add in Scotland, there are certain other states that are bigger than the entire United Kingdom. Well, yeah. Now, long ago, I made a video on the 11, yes, 11 states that are larger than the UK. But this video was mostly crap, and the chief complaint about it was that I didn't show any maps, so you just had to imagine it. Well, right. to show that I've grown as a YouTuber, and to visually put these 11 states into a UK context, okay. I've put together a graphic. Let's Have go. you ever seen those videos that compare yeah. the size of the Earth to the size of yeah, the Sun, yeah. and then the Sun to the next biggest star, and the yeah. next biggest star yeah. to the next biggest star, Absolutely. and so on? Well, I thought it would be fun to do the same thing with the UK and it's 11 American overlords. So here are 11 US states with a total area that's land and water that's larger than the UK. Let's go. Oh, by the way, the nation state I live in is uh, Georgia. I can see all of these. Yeah. Great graphics. Show me Alaska. Right. Wild. <laughs> that's, that's, you didn't have to do that, bro. You'd now, if this that. were a game of top trumps, the United States would be winning by a country mile. <laughs> right. Sorry. So before we continue, <laughs> I am going to throw in a fun fact that allows the UK a moment of glory. The Go most ahead. number of US states that you could collectively fit into the entire UK is 10. Now, admittedly, it is the smallest 10, and those are West Virginia, Maryland, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Hawaii, Connecticut, Delaware, and Rhode Island. But one thing that you might notice about all of those, with the exception of Hawaii, is that they are east of the Mississippi River. But once you go west, things become so big that your eyes fall off. And something that really seems to get bigger out west are counties. You may remember last year I did a video on the differences between British and American counties, and one of those differences was size. For context, I want you to keep in mind that the largest county in the UK is North Yorkshire. This clocks in at roughly 3,341 square miles. Bro, are you purposely rolling your, 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 your threes? Isles. So it is itself more than half the size of Northern Ireland. Well, at this point in the video, it won't surprise you to hear that the United States has well over a hundred counties larger than that. Okay. The vast, vast majority of them are out west. Right. Los Angeles County is, pro is gigantic. Now, if we allow for county equivalents like boroughs and census areas, Alaska has two county equivalents that are not just larger than North Yorkshire, but the entire right. United Kingdom. Alaska, you are- I'm gonna be honest though, guys, those counties that he's showing are probably not places that you really want to live anyway, guys. Massive and you need to be stopped. And you might say, well, Alaska's almost too massive, so this is just cheating. And it is true, Alaska is like the Galactus of American states. We yeah. should start calling it Galaska. But even if you drop down I'll, I'll into the that. lower 48 contiguous states, there are some counties that are so big that they make certain countries look like quaint villages. Take, for example, the largest in the lower 48, San Bernardino County in California. At over 20,000 square miles, it's approximately four times the size of Northern Ireland and more than twice the size of Wales. And it's not alone. San Bernardino County is one of 10 counties with a square mile area of five digits. Now, in both Britain and America, within your average county, you'll probably find a city or two, and it'll be of no surprise to you whatsoever that America's largest cities are larger than the UK's largest cities. 
in the UK, the largest city by total I can area see that. is comfortably London. Let's in go. fact, at 671 square miles, it is the third largest in Europe. Now, it's important to remember that that's before we take into account the wider metropolitan area. And indeed, before we do do that, there are several cities yeah, in the United do States do that are that. considerably larger than 671 square miles. Go ahead, tell me the cities. Surprisingly, none of these go by the name of New York, Chicago, or Los Angeles. Though this changes somewhat when we do account for each city's metropolitan area. But again, before we do do that, I've said do do twice. You the did. largest four places in America you. that you could reasonably define as a city are all located in Galaska, Anchorage, Juneau, Wrangell, and Sitka. All measure well into the thousands of square miles. The funny thing is that, like, our city is a lot of it is the metro area guys right i mean yeah you can live in downtown and kind of any of these cities i don't know why you would want to live in cesspools such as those and i mean that right um but the surrounding area is where for the most part everyone lives and then they go to the city whenever they want to have fun uh or they work in the city specifically right but most people live in the metro areas of the cities guys. so hopefully if you are uh, if you've ever been to america or the, the united states of america Right. Um, understand that one thing, that one small factor. We, for the most part, live outside of the downtown area. All those tall buildings. Yeah. Cool. We don't live there. We don't. We live on the outside. In most in most major cities, it's like that. Now again, it's super Alaska. Everything is huge. So instead, let's take a look at the opposite end of the country down in Jacksonville, Florida. Let's Jacksonville, go. Florida is surprisingly massive, owing partly to the fact that it consolidated with Duval County in 1968. Nonetheless, when you add up its water and land area, Jacksonville is the largest city in the lower 48 and at 874 square miles is larger than not just London, but half of the English counties. Now, if you take into account the metropolitan areas of both Jacksonville and London, Jacksonville marginally comes out on top. And that's despite the fact, yes, I changed my shirt, and that's despite the fact that Jacksonville Guys, is significantly down the pecking order when it- How is it in the UK? Um, like, so I've been to the UK, but I've never really, uh... I've hung out with a couple of people, right? But I've never really asked this, these very specific questions, right? Um, so my question is here, serious one here. How, how do people live there? Do people do, are, do, are people like literally living in London? Like the main population of London lives in London? Or is there like a Metro London where like, in, like the suburbs that surround the city that people really live, right? Is it the same as kind of how we do it here? Comes to or, at least, or at least in the south, guys. The largest metropolitan areas. In terms of square mileage, there are dozens across the country that outmatch it, but none more so than the San Bernardino metropolitan area, otherwise known as the Inland Empire. The Riverside San Bernardino, Ontario metropolitan area covers more than 27,000 square miles, almost the total area of Scotland. That's it for this episode. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below some of the experiences you've had in the United United States that have really highlighted its enormity. Be sure right. to share this video with your friends and family so that it travels far and wide. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pond US. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that my videos don't get lost in the pond. This video was made possible by my patrons, and if you would like to support Lost in the Pond, you can do so today at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Until right. the next video, goodbye. Alright, so this is the first time encountering this guy. I think I overall like his pacing. I, I like the information he's delivering. Obviously it's about America, so I'm just like, oh I'm super interested, but don't think it don't think about it like that. <laughs> um if it was about anything else, it, I think it would still be super interesting. Um like his overall perspective of being from um the UK and then living here is a super interesting perspective because he can probably give us a lot of like cool videos and overall insight uh, based on a lot of different topics regarding our differences, right? So definitely suggest some more from him, guys, because I think I would honestly, seriously enjoy um, his point of view. But all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.